Greetings. Hello everyone. Welcome to Petaka Technologies. In this video, we will cover the basics of the switch function and its syntax with examples of how to use it in Power BI. The switch function in Power BI evaluates an expression and returns a value based on a set of conditions. This function can be used to avoid having multiple nested if statements. Let me explain you with an example. In this data source, we have three columns, year, month number and sales amount in sales table. But we need to get the month name from month number. For that, we will create a new calculated column. Go to table tools and select new column to create a new calculated column to get month name based on month number. Rename this column as month name and write the DAX to get month name. Select switch to evaluate an expression and return a value. The syntax for the switch function is switch starts with an expression that returns a single scalar value and second parameter is value. If that value is true, then it will return that result. Otherwise, it will return the else value. Example, choose month number column from sales table comma shift enter now we enter 1 then it should return Jan enter 2 if the value is true then it should return Feb comma enter 3 if the value is 3 then it should return March enter 4 if the value is 4 then it should return April if all these conditions are not met then we will provide else condition as unknown we'll give unknown close the parenthesis commit this returns the month name for each month number based on the specified condition let me explain you with another example we use the switch function to replace multiple nested if statements this is accomplished by setting expressions to true. For example, we compare year column on sales table to identify previous year, current year and future year. Go to table tools and select new column to create a new calculated column. Name this column as sales of and write the DAX using the switch function and choose true comma choose year column from sales table and give condition as less than year of today close the parenthesis comma if this condition satisfies, then it should return previous year, comma, shift enter. Let's give another condition, choose year column. Now the condition is equal to and year of today. If this condition satisfies, then it should return 
current year comma let's give one more condition select year column and give condition as greater than year of today's date and if this condition satisfies it should return future year if all these conditions are not satisfied and it should return result else result as unknown close the parenthesis double quotes and commit this returns value based on the condition provided the order of values matters for example create another calculated column and name it as category then we use the switch and true comma choose sales amount column less than 1000 if this condition satisfies then it should return a comma shift enter select sales amount column now give another condition as less than 100 if this condition satisfies then we give b else it should return c close the parenthesis commit this expression is never return the second result because the first value is less restrictive than the second so the result in this example is always a or c but never b alternatively if you give a missed data type as condition then it returns an error instead of b if you give 2 and commit it returns an error because the data types in the result arguments are different keep in mind that the data types in all result and else arguments must be the same that's it now you can try using switch function with different tables and columns in your power bi reports remember practice makes perfect don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes thank you so much for watching this tutorial on using switch with DAX in Power BI. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you want to learn more about Power BI and DAX, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and Power BI tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.